Hello learners and welcome to this course of basics of pattern making and sewing. I am Dr. Divya Ojha, academic associate from School of Vocational Education and Training, IGNU, your instructor for this course. So learners, as we know, as fashion industry across the globe has been growing very fast since last couple of years and it has created large numbers of employment and entrepreneurial opportunities such as you can become a designer, you can have a boutique outlets, you can have a design school, you can learn designing and also expected to create a more job opportunities in future. And this is one of the important field in which you can use your skill to have good career opportunities and become self-dependent. So as this course is named as basics of pattern making and sewing, pattern making we can say is a blueprint for the garment on the basis of which a fabric is cut and it is the technical drawing or the drafting of the garment from where like garment or the apparel we use in our daily life but we do not know the technicality which is involved behind that in the making of that particular garment. So this course will make you understand what is the technicality, what is the skill you can have to become a good designer. The standard size charts are there, dress form or the figures are measured to use to construct the garment these measurements are then converted into 2D patterns and the garments are made from them. So when we talk about this particular course, basics of pattern making and sewing, this particular course it is uh, specially meant for the beginners who are keen to work in the field of fashion designing and for those who want to start their own entrepreneurship. So those who have that skill and want to uh, enhance their skill, want to become self-dependent and have an entrepreneur, they can join this program. This course provides the basic understanding of pattern making skills, sewing techniques and the tools which are used for garment construction. And at present, uh, me, where, as the technology has been developed and at present many technologies and the tools are being used for pattern making, therefore it becomes necessary for us to understand the basics of pattern making and the sewing techniques. Like in the earlier, we, when we use this garment technology or garment construction method, we use the manual method. But with the advancement of time and technology, we have lots of soft softwares and the techniques which we can uh, use to minimize our time and to construct very good garment. So this particular course, we discuss about the pattern making, sewing techniques, practical activities in the context of body measurement, marking and the hand stitches. So this course on basics of pattern making as sewing aims to develop a good knowledge and understanding of garment construction skill and sewing techniques. So when we talk about the learning objective or the outcome why this course you can uh, learn and understand what all points it, uh, we cover in this particular course. So the broad objective when we talk about this particular course is to make you aware about various aspects of pattern making and sewing which aims to develop knowledge and understanding of pattern making skills. So after going through this, uh, joining this particular course, you can have a good understanding and knowledge of pattern making and you can develop good garments by yourself. You can learn the detailed understanding of body measurement and its process like to construct a good garment, the key element or the key point is to understand how to take a good measurement of the body. So you can understand that particular process and take it in a good way. You can understand different tools uh, which are used for a pattern making and how you will use that tools when you are going to construct or develop a pattern. Then you can develop knowledge about pattern information and marking. Like being a professional designer, 
This is very important to learn that there are certain informations and markings are being done on the pattern which is important to know and as a student of design you should know. So for this particular course you will learn all these technical informations to become a good designer. And you can acquire knowledge about operating sewing machines like as this particular course offers you to know what sewing machines are, how we will operate that sewing machine, how you will handle that sewing machine and develop knowledge of sewing needles and stitch formation for the garment construction. Like there are different knit types of needles are there, how you will select a particular type of needle according to the type of fabric what you are using, you can understand from this particular course and lastly you can learn the basic sewing techniques and the steps which are used in the garment construction. With all these learning objectives, this particular course has been designed and developed. The basic detail of the course is that this particular course is about of 4 credits and the duration which is uh, assigned for this course is 12 weeks. When we talk about the course layout of this course basics of pattern making and sewing it is divided into 12 weeks when where in the first week you will be uh, learning about the methods of pattern making and the tools for pattern making in the week 2 you will be learning about the body measurement and the pattern information and marking in week 3 you will be understanding the handling of sewing machine and sewing needles and the stitch formations. In the week 4, basics of sewing techniques will be taught. Week 5, you will learn about the steps of garment construction and in the week 6, you will be having the practical activities as this particular course, you will be learning the theory, core, theory section also and you will have the practicals also. The hands on the activities will be assigned. So you have in the week 6, you will be taking activity on the body measurement. Like when we talk about what steps are there of the body, taking a body measurement, you will be doing hands on on the, this particular activity. Similarly, in the week 7, we will discuss about the activity 2 that is drafting of basic blocks where you will learn how you can develop a pattern which is for the basic blocks of the bodies of the sleeve and the skirt. Then week 8 you will have to, uh, knowledge about the create patterns with all the markings and the practices on the use of French curve, what all tools are there. Uh, to make the armhole, to make the neckline. You will understand all the uh, tools which are used and what is their uh, purpose of the use on the pattern. Then in the week 9, you will study about uh, the working with the grain line and the basic hand stitches. So these all the are the activity or the practical part of this particular course. Then in a week 10, you will do the hands on on practice of threading, oiling and handling and the care of sewing machines and the machine control exercise like in the we have studied about the basic uh, sewing techniques and about the uh, sewing machines. So you will just have do the practice how you will operate the sewing machine this activity you will do in the week 10. Then in the week 11 you will be identify the perfect seam and the samples of plain seams and its finishes. You will develop samples of seam and stitches and in the week 12 you will develop samples of various seams and the samples of like the uh, darts and the tucks all these technicalities which we have discussed in the theory part this you have to practice in these particular activities. So this is the broad course layout of this particular uh, course basics of pattern making and sewing. So this is information about the course. Let us hope that you will carry forward the learning of this particular course to use them in your own as a future designer or you can have a boutique or you can become a good uh, pattern master. So welcome to this course of basics of pattern making and sewing. Thank you.